Everyone's heat still. Oh my god, two casts in a row? Yeah, much bigger. I'm getting sick of the same legs. Let's go somewhere new. What's up, MFers? Today's mission is quite simple. Okay, actually, it's not simple at all. We are going to try to catch a double digit bass on a brand new body of water we have never set eyes on before and do it the very first day that we have ever fished the lake. Definitely not easy for anybody in any place in the country, but you guys know I love a good challenge. It's the only way we get better as fishermen. So come along with me on this journey to this epic lake we will absolutely be going back to, and there is a big, big surprise at the end of this video. I can't wait to take you on this journey. Let's do it. Okay, let's get this. Whoa, GoPro stop. GoPro start recording. Okay, it's starting. Okay, I'm after. Let's get this show on the road. We got all sorts of fun stuff tied on for this lake. I've never been to. Pulled up at the ramp. This water. You'll see it in a second. It's so damn clear. I freaking love it. So we got our usual. We got the hover juggle. We got a frog. We got punch rig because there's grass everywhere. Hydro. I can see the grass mats up there. Um, big worms, stuff like that. But then over here, I'm you know I'm excited about this side. This is the big baits only side. I'm freaking picking up Hank. We're gonna see what we can pull. I literally know nothing about this lake other than there's big ones in it, and it appears there's a million damn trees. There was trees out in 70 feet of water. Also, there was one spot that it looked like it was like a roadbed on the map. 90% of the people fishing here were out holding hands on that one spot, so. <laughs> Take a ticket, hop in line. Texas fishing for you. Old grandpappy must have caught a 71 pounder back in 1942. Never fished anywhere else since. Man, this lake is gen clear. This is gonna be some cool footage on that sky cam. See what these fish are gonna wanna do. There's fish out deep, so I'm gonna pick up the line through. Soon to be released, line through that is. Well, he followed it like he's a bass. Here he comes. Crazy how many fish are out here. And they, if they're bass, like this is going to be stupid. Dang, badass point. You'd think there's some would be. Sure would be. Oh, man. Holy shit, that was a giant one on it. Came out of freaking nowhere too, didn't even see him. Looked down on scope and there's a blob behind the glide bait. Well, that's pretty crazy. You guys probably couldn't quite see him. My bait was down a little bit too low. He must have fired up out of this hydrilla patch right here. Said hello. Had a bite. Yep, a bite. Come here, bud. Oh, a little bud to start us off, but what a fun way to catch him. Flipping Mr. Chronicle Lewinsky into some of these thick hydrilla mats. Yeah, bet. That was cool. Did my prawn survive? He survived well enough to re-rig him, I think. All right, we're on the board. Sun's really high. Moon is full right now, so that makes me a little nervous for uh, any type of moving bait. Usually there's still a bite window for it, but that's when stuff like this can be really good, actually, is when the moon's big, the sun's high, it's pretty slick, calm. We finally got a little bit of ripple on the water now. I'm lucky that I took my time on that one and I got him in the boat because I wasn't quite ready for him. But I'm fishing, as you guys can see, a giant freaking grass mat. And uh, just dropping this prawn on an ounce and a quarter weight, I think. I might bump it up to an ounce and a half because it is deep. It's 18 feet here on this grass edge. And as I always do when I'm fishing a spot like this, 
we're gonna drop a waypoint. Because a lot of times when you're fishing a big, vast area of grass like this that looks like all the same, you go back in a little bit later and start noticing some, some trends. Either the fish are all in one area, or they're all in one type of point, or on the inside turn, or something. So, hey, we're on the board. I'll take it. There's a little guy, but seen some damn donks. Yeah, I came out and murdered that thing. Yep. Finally, a big bait bite. That's all nice. She okay? Are you done? <laughs> Nothing huge. Four and a half pound long skinny fish, but hell yeah, I'll take it. Can't even scope these fish. They're kind of just in the grass. This hydrilla has a nice like five to eight foot gap over the top of it. And I saw my bait hit the water and a fish just came up out of it. It was that one. Oh, feels good to get on the board. Been a long day, a long hot day. I'm not used to this Texas heat still. Oh my God, two casts in a row. That one's bigger. Oh. Yeah, much bigger. Come here, big girl. Yep. No, let's not do that. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm talking <laughs> Oh my god, look how big that fish is. That's a dang sight for sore eyes. Took long enough. Holy crap. I think we're gonna stay in the spot for a second. I gotta send Osborne a picture of that one. That was sick. Two casts in a row, are you serious? Was just talking to you guys. And that thing comes out and does that. <laughs> I haven't caught one. A big one in a while you guys know that i've been on the dang road let me show you how big this fish is a little bit of a size scale reference on zero right she's gonna get almost a 26. okay okay that'll work all right let's see what this joker weighs god dang that's a big strong fish zeros Ten seventy three. That's a bag. Yeah. Hopefully you guys saw some of that from the camera up there. Go retie now. <laughs> Two casts in a row. Freaking came up and t bone that bait. I was talking to you guys. Went to uh, went to twitch my bait and it was just heavy. Sometimes that's a better way to freaking get them than the usual watch them on live scope because you don't pull it away from them. I miss so many damn fish just pulling it away from them. Just anticipating that bite too much. There was no anticipating that one. It was just complete lack of paying attention. And we have gone from a really slow, piss poor day to a really badass day in two casts. Always retie, folks. I always tell you that when I screw up and lose baits or lose fish, right? bigger than the one I caught. Get up through that tree. 
Yeah, Bob. Hiding in tree, huh, Bob? How'd that go for you? These fish are crazy. They're just like, you hook them and they just waller. I don't know what that's all about. This guy's really unhappy. Crazy how many bigs we've seen. And I mean big bigs, like 11, 12 pounders. Look at that, that's another five plus. Heck yeah, little realistic gliding cricket. <clears throat> Locked his ass up. Broke my glide, actually. Giddy. Stay in there, Mr. Penn. All right, cool, good talk.